In this video, I'm going to show you how to propagate the common house plant pothos uh, by doing a layer on top of some soil. So this is a plant that um, is an epiphyte, and it roots really, really, really easily just by even sticking cuttings in water. So you know, this the the wrapping uh, thing that we're going to do right now may not be necessary with this particular plant since it does root so readily even in water, but. Um, if you're trying to turn your one pothos plant into a lot of pothos plants that look really nice pretty fast, this is a good way to do it. So what we're going to do is we want to um, utilize the, the ability for this plant to make roots at its nodes and even some of the, sometimes it'll split them out of these internodal junctions, which is an evolutionarily successful strategy for being um, an epiphyte because if you can hold on, uh, you can survive. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take a nice section of this um, so that we can wrap it inside the pot. Okay, so, just, so let's say we have a chunk that has no stems or no roots on it at all. We're going to take this plant and we're going to wrap it so that it just barely touches its tail. Uh, and then we're going to pin it to the surface there. So first, just kind of measure it using the stem that you have. And remember that that apical tip is going to want to keep growing out without growing um, roots down. So we'll probably want to cut that off. It may or may not make a difference in this plant since it roots so readily anyways. Uh, and then I'm just going to take a look at this. And it looks like this is probably my last uh, node that I need to, to do a full wrap in the pot. And you could even go a little more conservatively if you want this ring to be kind of further on the inside. I usually like to have a little bit of in overlap uh, because then I get a twofer whenever I'm using my paper clips to pin it in place. Uh, you can use the big paper clips if you want or the little paper clips if you want. The big ones have the advantage of giving you a little bit better anchorage. And, uh, the disadvantage of these is that sometimes they're too long to fit in your pot, so you could clip them down with a pair of wire cutters. Don't use your clippers to cut these. You're just going to make little notches in your clippers, and then they won't work as well for you later. So I'm going to unbend this little paper clip here. And I'm going to pin this in probably three places since this is a six inch pot. Um, if it were a four inch pot, you could pin it in two places. But what we really want to do is we want to make sure that um, we're getting good contact with the soil and so I've got these two pieces that are overlapping and I'm just gonna take this these two overlapping pieces and I'm just gonna slide that paper clip over the top of them to hold them in place then I'll do it at the third mark on either side uh, you can clip off the leaves on these if you want to if you leave them on you'll get a little bit more of an instant gratification plant when it starts to grow because it'll already have some green foliage and you won't have to wait for more to come out of the nodes. But, you know, do you. Okay, and then the last one. Oops, I bent the paper clip the wrong way. Hee <laughs> hee. Last one we're going to unfold here. And then we'll just pin it down over on this side. You can use that leaf petiole to your advantage if you want, if you're afraid that it's going to backslide or something like that. Just use the, the little extra stump that's sticking out there to, to help you out. Now that I've got three pins in there, I'm going to push them all down again, and then I'll water this in really good. And um, with it, by the end of the quarter, we should see um, some results to this, some rooting that happens.